To get you in the spirit for the next March Madness game at the top of the hour, we have an update on one of the most popular basketball stories ever on this broadcast. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. <laughs> good, good. Not many high school basketball managers get a party on their behalf, especially not 10 years after graduation. It seems like just yesterday, it was a magical night back in 2006. Coach pointed his finger at me and I stepped onto the court for the first time in my varsity career. Jason McElwain is autistic. Ten years ago, it was his job to fetch water and mop up other people's sweat at Greece Athena High School in Rochester, New York. But for the last regular season game of his senior year, the coach let Jason, better known as J-Mac, suit up and play the final four minutes. That's him going in, number 52. Everyone in the crowd was hoping for a layup, at most. But J-Mac had other ideas. He stepped outside the three-point line and drained it. And he was just getting started. He caught fire. I just caught fire. I was hot as a pistol. J-Mac ended up shooting six three-pointers, one right after the other. He had 20 points total. And each time a shot went in, his teammates and the crowd went a little crazy. His last basket, right at the buzzer, created total mayhem. After we first told this story, big things started happening for J-Mac. I mean, big things. A country was captivated by an amazing story on the basketball court. President George Bush requested an audience with him. J-Mac co-authored a book about himself. Thanks, J-Mac. And perhaps the biggest change of all. It gave me confidence that I can do anything. Let's go! After graduation, J-Mac became assistant coach at his old high school. His passion for the game hasn't faded a bit. His connection to the students, as strong as ever. The only difference is that now, above it all, number 52 hangs near the rafters. His retired jersey, a reminder to us all that there is greatness waiting in every kid. We just need to call their numbers. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Rochester, New York. Still hot as a pistol after all these years. That's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes.